We love you, Florida. Founder and CEO of the Native American Music Awards, Ellen Billow. I just want to make a quick note to thank all the people involved and everyone behind the scenes who helped make this event happen. We've come a long way from our humble beginnings as just an idea in South Dakota. And with that, I want to bring who I consider a co-founder of the NAMIs out here, James Bardot from the Rosebud Reservation. James. For those of you who don't know, James was my inspiration for the NAMIs. He was in a group called Seventh Generation from Rosebud over 15 years ago now. We were kids. But we were talking about the idea of the NAMIs as maybe this somewhat achievable dream. And here we are at the Hard Rock, a stark contrast from where we started, but a great one. Right? A, a lot of this came from... Uh, uh, a dream, I suppose. Uh, we were walking down a busy New York street, playing in New York City, and we're walking down. And uh, uh, basically, true story is we're walking down, wondering where can the native people be showcased. So we start thinking of ideas, you know, uh, Grammys, Nammys, and uh, Ellen kind of took took uh, this thing by the horns, if you will, and, and really made it what it is today. Obviously, with a lot of help, and this is uh, this is for the people. Uh, this was designed for the people and also for the youth, so all the youth out there. And uh, this is, you know, an inspiration for you to be able to come up here someday and, and perform in front of uh, everybody. So, yeah, thanks. And one thing that um, I noticed this year is that we had the most submissions from South Dakota ever in the NAMI's history. So with that said, I would like to thank the Seminole Tribe of Florida as our great, wonderful hosts, the Seminole Broadcasting Network and Danny Jumper, who are working really hard to give us a top-notch recording of the show and broadcasting it out nationally. Mike Johnson and Indigenous Peoples Network is broadcasting live on the World Wide Web right now, and we're getting an overwhelming response, and they've given this to me, from Venezuela, Australia, and Nigeria right now. So we are getting out there. Last but not least, I'd like to thank everyone at the Hard Rock staff. They are among the best in the business. And you can see them, but the NAMA staff, which is absolutely incredible, tireless, dedicated, and all volunteer. Uncle Joe, James, Rob, Donald. Kay, Tracy, Ray, Sharon. There's so many, I don't want to leave anyone out. Help, Melissa. <laughs> Kim Hall, everyone who's been there. Andy Anderson, Joe Hopkins, who have put me right on that video right now. Just want to thank all of them. Thank you for being here and for your support. We're all in this together. We are growing year after year. Give everyone an applause for the great song makers that we have. Thank you. Presenting Song Single of the Year are WMNF Radio's Shante Ishta and Kathy Schultz. Radio certainly recognizes the importance of one good hit song or track to secure airplay. And it may come in the form of a single release or a full-length recording. Let's take a look now at the nominees for Song Single of the Year. The nominees for Song Single of the Year are a sacred Bill Miller, Sacred Ground. A sacred ground. Where the mountains Brule, Stomp Dance. Eagle and Hawk, Sun Dancer. Gary Small, Pow Wow Tonight. You're gonna love me. Rita Coolidge, Come Rain or Come Shine. 
come rain or come shine. And the song single of the year is Sacred Ground, Bill Miller. Where the spirit rivers flow, there's a sacred ground. What an honor. I, I was backstage because I thought I lost. So, Sorry, Rita. I love you. It's, it's always an honor to uh, win an award or, or any to be nominated amongst your own people. I just want to continue to encourage you and pray for uh, you as well as you pray for me as we're on the road all the time representing our people. Uh, to a lot of people, we're a small minority. You know, we got this uh, legal immigrant thing going on and they seem to forget about us. We are very much alive and well. This is the land that our Creator intended us to be born and to run free and to sing and to praise our Creator. So thank you so much. Blessings to all of you. Thank you. Rita Cooley, Big Roll 59's Razor, and Saigon Kicks, Matt Kramer. The winner of this category will receive an all-expense-paid trip to the Foxwoods Resort Casino and two special performance opportunities. This first as headliner of Skinitzum 2006, another at Foxwoods on a date of their choice. Let's take a look at the candidates for best pop rock recording. The nominees for best pop rock recording are Eagle and Hawk, Mother Earth. Forever, something to dream of. Jim Boyd, them old guitars. Down to the people I don't know. I was looking for direction as I go. Mickey Free, the second coming. Wade Fernandez, Song of the Black Wolf. And the lucky winner for Best Pop Rock Recording is... Mother Earth, Eagle, and Hawk. We are very surprised and honored to be a part of the Native American Music Awards. I want to thank, first of all, the organizers and everybody who have voted for us. And uh, this is my band, Eagle and Hawk, and I want to introduce Jay Bodner, the voice of Eagle and Hawk. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Florida. Uh, we're slowly cracking the, uh, the American market, and uh, we have lots of friends in Indian country, in Canada, uh, and the United States. We seem to all run into each other on the road, and uh, to me, it's it's uh, it's a good time away from home because it's like seeing old friends and uh, meeting new friends, right? Hello, Florida! Yeah! Awesome. All right, man. Soren from the Menominee Indian Reservation. Our next performer has toured the world. Here is Wade Fernandez.
Whispering Winds, Gene Bates, and NAMA nominees, Mike Gucci, and Dan Michael Looking Wolf. How's everybody doing? <laughs> These nominees are among the award's most competitive and nothing short of intense. So let's find out who this year's nominees for best rap hip hop recording are. The nominees for best R&B rap hip hop recording are Buggin Malone Spirit World I try to keep it real on my knees when I kneel I pray to God and ask him can he show me the way I'm too much breaking foot and I can't make it another day Maniac the Supernatural Nightmerica When we put it down kids we just can't be Night Shield Anything You Want Sarah Hensley, River of Life. Shadow Eyes, Boom Boom. And the winner of this year's best R&B rap hip hop recording is, I'll give you a hint, it's not Eminem. It's Spirit World, Buggin' Malone! Hey, I'm just another statistic, if I go ballistic, sometimes I feel... Oh-ho! Blowin' up in the house! I want to dedicate this to my grandmother who's been diagnosed with cancer. I've been taking care of her six months. This one's for you, Goko. I love you. Please welcome Patisi and Yolanda Martinez. Hey! Good evening, everyone. Wow, what a show. What a show. This is great. It's better than Nashville. <laughs> oh yeah, you bet. You better believe it. This is just fantastic and thank you all. Yes, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. So shall we get rolling? We sure should. <laughs> okay. Let's see, from traditional and Christian to jazz and the blues. It is time to welcome the nominees for the Native American Music Awards Best Female Artist. The nominees for Best Female Artist are Kansas Begay, Marlena, Pure Love, 
Purifé. Red Milla Cody. I am my voice, my prayers. She who walks Mother Earth and sings her songs. Tanisha Begay. Let's see who this year's best female artist will be. Pura Fe! Follow your heart's desire. Congratulations. I want to, okay, Ellen, first Ellen, because I remember sitting in her office many years ago and she said, what do you think it would be like to have a, you know, a Native American music award? So I just, um, I'm really glad that it happened, that it's here and it's getting stronger. I'm so glad I got this. You don't know. Y'all, I'm happy. Oh, no. This next performer has three previous cassettes. <laughs> Four full-length albums to his credit. And leading this year's nominations. I want you to give a big round. <laughs> we forgot eight tracks, huh? <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to our good friend, Keith Sokola. Okay, Frybird brothers and sisters, we're gonna have a little bit of controlled chaos here, all right? So bear with us. Come on, Sonny. She wanted an introduction here. He said that you said he said that she said you said he said that he said you said she said that he said you said he said all i'm asking for fry bread 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 okay you singers you got to get up to the mic though okay These are the Freiburg sisters. They were trained in the Seminole camp down in the swamps by William Osceola. Help us out. You can get fancy, you can do a little Freiburg line dance. Where's the Freiburg brothers? They're supposed to be doing a line dance. Come on, James and her. He wants to settle down out on the edge of town, far from the neon lights, under the stars so bright. The fire glows and flickers between the cactus prickers out on the edge of town. He wants to settle down. All I'm asking for Fry bread 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 Okay, sisters, take it away. Little private. Okay, bring it down, boys. See, a long time ago, fry bread was illegal in North America. You couldn't eat fry bread, or you couldn't speak fry bread, or you couldn't teach fry bread to your young. So we had to do it illegally. We'd practice the art of making fry bread in the dark, in the swamps, 
in the backwoods, in the Black Hills, all over North America. Pretty soon these fried bread camps got bigger and bigger. No one was turned away. Even fried bread sympathizers were welcome in this camp. Our slogan was though, fried bread killed as many people as the federal government. What kind of slogan is that? Well, we're talking about our diets, but that's another story. All right. So the government didn't like this. They had these fried bread camps, and these camps started getting bigger and bigger. No one was turned away, so they passed what they call the fry bread laws. Some of the fry bread laws, like up in Wisconsin, fry bread law 280. You've heard of that, right, Paula? The fry bread relocation policy. The Fry Bread Allotment Act. The Trail of Greece. And then they hired military people like Colonel Sanders and Captain Crunch, Captain Morgan and General Electric, General Dynamics, Major Ripoff. These are some of the Fry Bread police. But they couldn't keep the Fry Bread down. So today, imagine these two young men here are pieces of Fry Bread dough. And they're laying dormant. They've been sleeping for 500 years. They're waiting for the, the key master to give them the key to open it up and make freedom and give consciousness to Indian people. So today, remind us that we're human beings. So today, let's help make them rise. And, and pieces of fried bread, don't get up slow. Don't get up right away. Make them work for it, OK? Like, you know, like you're waking up in the morning. Let's see. Because born of the people was a fry bread messiah. He went around North America and he gave some disciples names like Peaky Boy over there on drums. Mutton Man laying down. Sister Salmon over there. Auntie Bannock. Brother Fry bread, symbolic of virtues of humility, honesty, what? kindness, and the strongest medicine of all, love. And this is what this fry bread messiah did, so help us. Imagine we're on a big frying pan. Fried bread. Yeah, you're making them flutter. Talk about the angels in their wings of flutter. Fried bread. Oh, Rita Coolidge is a fry bread sister, too. Fried bread. Let's heat it up. Fried bread. Help them all. Fried bread. They're old men, fry bread. Fry bread. Sisters, help them all. A little blue, blue singing, fry. his cornbread banner to tears hot fanatic piggy bread to pop over some pumper nickel oven bread to rye bread with a pickle croissants and pastry taste tasty he doesn't seem to mind a mile long fry bread line cause we're all the same inside we need fry bread all the time all I'm asking for Fry bread, fry bread, fry bread, fry bread. Heat Beat Magazine's Carrie Barnhart and Eric Buffalo Head and Chuck Davis of Blue Dog. And now for the best male artist of the year. This category is based on both the artist's vocal and songwriting abilities. Let's see who this year's nominees are. The nominees for Best Male Artist are Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers. Let's go, my baby, baby doll. Gil 
Silverberg. Joseph Firecrow. Tommy Wildcat. Wade Fernandez. And the male artist of the year is. All right, Wade Fernandez, Song of the Black Wolf. Uh, this is totally unexpected. <laughs> um, this is for uh, my wife um, for supporting me. Um, this is for my, my four little babies back at home, our four little babies back at home.